Hey guys, DB right here, and we are back with What If Shin the Supreme Kai Trained? And this would be part three, if I'm not mistaken. Now, continuing right where we left off, we are now approaching the end of the Resurrection of Frieza arc. And well, thanks to Supreme Kai, Sending out his energy as high as possible. Vegeta and Goku were able to get a walk on the energy and return. Back to Earth no problem. Because after all they are at that stage of training where they can now sense God Key. And I'm pretty sure the... The Kais, especially... Elder Kai and Supreme Kai. Have um, God Key like Beerus. You can't sense them. Or at least you're not supposed to. And well, out of respect for the Saiyans and that Freezer is their enemy, Supreme Kai does decide to step back and let Goku and Vegeta handle this. And essentially the battle between Goku and Freezer goes pretty much like it does in the original anime. To the point where... um. Vegeta is actually needing to step in and take over for Goku after he gets um, blasted by Sorbet. And while this is not looking good for Goku, Vegeta is quite happy to step in and um, finish off Freezer, as it were, and Vegeta... Of course, just like in the anime, he's having the time of his life beating the man that once ruled and oppressed him for so many years. Oh yes, this was Prince Vegeta payback at its best. And he even got to knock one of Frieza's own shots and destroy Sorbet. But of course, that is all the same to the anime. So now we get to the point... Where Freezer is on his last legs, and he's complaining how it is just not fair. It's bad, Goku, Super Saiyan God, now Vegeta too. Where, where? You know how Freezer complains at that point, right before he is about to blow up the planet, like in the original anime. However, this is where Supreme Kai actually does get to contribute to the final parts of the battle, for he uses his paralysis technique on Freezer. Yes, Freezer could tell that Freezer was beginning to gather energy to destroy the planet, and before he could, he Supreme Kai used his paralysis technique. Um, paralysis technique, DB Rai, okay. Since when does Supreme Kai have abilities like that? Well... Glad you asked. <laughs> Do you recall back during the Boo arc, or just prior to the Boo arc, when Spolovich and Yamu jumped Gohan, the only reason Gohan couldn't defend himself against the two is because Supreme Kai used that very same paralysis technique to stop Gohan from moving. After all, they needed him to, like, they needed them to take Gohan's energy so we can find Barbity and then stop Boo. That was the plan. So, that very technique has just saved the Earth from Frieza as Vegeta is able to successfully deliver the final blow and destroy Frieza. So, in this timeline, we're not robbing Vegeta of that victory like Toriyama did with the original. I kind of felt like Vegeta sort of deserved that victory. So yes, Freezer is blasted away, and as far as Vegeta is concerned, he got the win by himself. Yep, no one noticed what Supreme Kai did. The only two that actually seemed to notice was Beerus and Whis. As um, everyone was leaving, heading to Capsule Corp to celebrate with a big glorious feast, which Beerus and Whis will be a part of. 
otherwise suffer the consequences. Pyrrhus addresses Shin. <laughs> hey, Kai. <laughs> that was quite slick. I assure you, I have no idea what you're talking about. And they just fly off, big victory feast later. And well, Supreme Kai would eventually return back to the world of the Kais, while Beerus eventually would return to his planet, along with Goku and Vegeta to continue their training as we begin heading to the Tournament of the Destroyers. Now, for the most part, nothing actually changes in that part of the story. Just, um, just due to the fact that Shin the Supreme Kai wouldn't be allowed to take part of the tournament, you know, being a deity. That's, um, not fair, and you could imagine Lord Champa chucking a really big hissy fit over it. If, um, Beerus were to let his Supreme Kai fight in the tournament, he is there to spectate, but that's it. So pretty much the, um, destroyer. Destroyer Brothers Tournament goes exactly like it does in the anime. However, Goku and Vegeta can tell that um, Supreme Kai has still been working on his training and um, is indeed beginning to grow stronger as when they return from the, from the tournament and of course after um, Beerus restoring Champa's Earth to him, well, Goku and Vegeta both decide to have sparring matches against Shin the Supreme Kai, and well, as it turns out, Supreme Kai is starting to show signs that um, he's actually a better and more elegant fighter than they are. Because, um, well, remember, the, the Kais have very special and specific training. I mean, look at Zamasu and how powerful he was. Of course, we're not up to that part of the story yet, but you get my um, point. They're trained in um, specific forms of um, martial arts, have um, powers beyond what um, most of the mortal characters could even comprehend. I mean, yes, back in the Boo arc, um, Goku and Vegeta were the top fighters of the universe, but now, it looks like other than Beerus the Destroyer, Supreme Kai may be slowly but surely closing in, as he's actually able to defeat Goku and Vegeta in these sparring matches, and in fact, his fighting style himself, it's, to, well, to describe it, it's it's very similar to what um what Jiren does. In terms of power, he's not that much greater, if not his powers even with the Saiyans, he just knows how to use it more efficiently. And being a Kai, being a deity, that's pretty much expected of him. This is what the Kais are supposed to be. So with um Supreme Kai now making his leave, there is now a new threat about to surface, as somewhere in a pocket universe, the future timeline, Future Trunks, is running away from an unknown enemy. Of course, those of us who have seen the series, read the Dragon Ball Super manga, we know it's not so unknown that it is Goku Black. And I think that's where we're going to leave things for right now. So what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this part of the story? How are things going to go now that we're heading into um, the Goku Black arc? Personally, I think we can have a lot of fun with this. But I will get back to that when I can. And once I finish working out where the story is going to go from there, we will definitely get back with this series. Um, as always, um, don't forget to leave your comments, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Alright, adios!